This video will show you how to install an Evo packed circuit breaker into the circuit breaker compartment of the short set switchgear assembly in the test disconnected position. For more detailed instructions and information not contained in this video, please refer to the short set switchgear user guide. Document number NNZ9886800. Before we begin, you will need to assemble the proper PPE and all necessary tools. You'll also need space to maneuver the circuit breaker. Make sure the circuit breaker is open. To verify the circuit breaker is installed into the proper compartment, check the order drawings and nameplates and confirm that the secondary disconnect labels coordinate on the circuit breaker and the circuit breaker compartment. Confirm that the circuit breaker racking beam indicator shows the test disconnect symbol and that the truck is seated against the circuit breaker pan. Before using the lift truck, Make sure the open compartment door has the automatic door stay latch engaged. Now lock the lift truck with the foot pedal locking brake. Lower the lift truck platform to the floor and roll the circuit breaker on the lift truck until it latches with the automatic latch hook. To confirm the hook has latched correctly, refer to the Shore Set Switchgear User Guide, document number NNZ9886800. Secure the circuit breaker on the lift truck with the provided safety cable. Raise the lift truck platform until the front hooks on each side of the platform align with the hook slots on the switchgear side sheets of the circuit breaker compartment. Unlock the lift truck foot pedal locking brake. Push the lift truck towards the circuit breaker compartment until the front hooks enter the hook slots and the hooks clear the switchgear side sheets. Lower the lift truck platform until the hooks are securely held by the side sheets and the cradle hooks contact the bottom edge of the hook slots. Lock the lift truck pedal brake. Disconnect the safety cable from the front of the circuit breaker. Push the circuit breaker slightly towards the back of the lift truck platform towards the lift truck base. Pull up the release handle on the right side of the platform and release the automatic latch hook. While holding the release handle up, Move the circuit breaker towards the circuit breaker compartment until it clears the automatic latch hook. Align the rail wheels on each side of the circuit breaker with the positioning rails mounted on the side walls of the circuit breaker compartment. Carefully move the circuit breaker straight in so that any extensions from the side of the circuit breaker such as the TOC pin, MOC roller, or the automatic spring discharge pin do not hit or get caught on the compartment side sheets. Push the circuit breaker into the compartment until the racking mechanism beam contacts the back flanges on the cell latch plates mounted on the left and right positioning rails. Pull the circuit breaker latch handles in and push on the racking mechanism beam to roll the circuit breaker off the lift truck platform. Make sure both of the racking mechanisms locking tabs are fully extended into these compartment latch plate slots. The circuit breaker is now positioned in the compartment in the test disconnect position. If the circuit breaker did not easily roll into the circuit breaker compartment, remove the circuit breaker and repeat the process. Once the circuit breaker has been placed into the compartment, slowly raise the lift truck platform until the front hooks clear the hook slots on each side of the compartment. Move the lift truck away from the compartment until it is clear. Then lower the platform to the floor. You've now successfully installed an Evo packed medium voltage circuit breaker in the test disconnect position into the circuit breaker compartment of the Shore Set switchgear assembly.